Film festival. Well, as well, a filmmaker, this is where uh, new talent is discovered. There's a, it's access to a big screen and an audience. I mean, that's what we want as filmmakers, isn't it? To be able to tell our stories to other people. And oftentimes, before people are able to make the big deals with the studios or the networks, this is where they have a chance to have their work seen. And the, um, for a really long time, uh, LGBT stories weren't just untold, they were forbidden. To be an LGBT person for a very long time was a crime in this country. Right, our history, you couldn't tell our history. You know, 50 years ago, you tried telling our history, what happens? You're called mentally ill and a felon. Couldn't do it. Uh, and, and it's only now that we've gotten rid of that stigma, getting, gotten rid of those myths, those lies, those laws, that we're able to start telling our stories. So LGBT film festivals are one of those ways that where we can start to tell the stories that for too long have been covered in shame. And we're able to start to unearth our stories. And it's really those narratives that create a people. But the fight is never over. People ask that question all the time. When is it over? When are we done? When are we getting done? And the answer is never. And that's OK. This is good work. This is work that feeds the soul. I mean, for me, this is one of the first film festivals I've been to. I've been to one in Rome with Lance, but for me, it's such a fun experience because it's so out of the ordinary for what I do. I'm in sport. Everything's a competition, everything's... Whereas coming here, it's such a family environment and everyone's so excited to see everybody's work and sometimes it's seen for the very first time. And more importantly, LGBT film festivals and the fact that celebrating diversity and celebrating our differences because those are what make the most interesting stories and I think it's great that this whole festival is dedicated to that one thing. You know, I, I've been to a lot of LGBT film festivals over the years. I remember when they were called just gay and lesbian film festivals and, and I've loved how they've become more inclusive of more diverse stories. Um, I think that this one in particular, uh, when the organizers called and said, would you come back again? It's because I remembered how much fun we had. Uh, there is a sense of family uh, that you don't always have at, at film festivals. There's a lot of good food, there's really good weather, and there's a lot of sun. So it's hard to say no to coming uh, to this film festival. I think visibility is the key to the LGBTQ movement. Um, it's the thing that's very unique to the LGBTQ movement. Not all of us are immediately identifiable. So in order to be known as this minority, we often have to speak it and show it and talk about it. Um, and, and that can give hope. I mean, I didn't know growing up in Texas that there were a whole lot of me around. Uh, and, and I think the more young LGBT people know that they stand on the shoulders of people who've come before them, fought really hard for their rights, to tell their stories, for their freedoms, I think that gives a little bit of hope that maybe they're not alone out there. And certainly film festivals do that. Support this film festival. This film festival helps keep our stories alive and our stories are power. You've got to support this festival. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Honolulu Rainbow Film Festival, for all of your work over the years and for having me back again. I don't know why you brought me back again, but boy, do I appreciate it. And we love it here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.